Good day and welcome to our short explanation of how to customize the start menu under the new Windows 10. New is a relative word, but today that means build 1803, which is the spring release of um, spring 2018 release of uh, Windows 10. So what I don't like about it is that when I click start, I see a pictures and I see a documents uh, shortcut. Those shortcuts are wonderful to have if you're at home, but if you're in a corporation, they're pointless. People generally do not save things in their documents and generally do not save things locally in their pictures either. Most content is stored on the network. So uh, to change that, uh, originally I thought it was going to be quite difficult and in very early versions it was, but now it's not. The early versions, by the way, I'm speaking of the betas that I was participating in. So, but anyway, now it's just, it's right there. So what you do is uh, you click the start button, right click on any of these and select personalize this list. And it will take you right to where you want to go, which is uh, here. You can turn on the, uh, as it says, you can choose which folders appear on start. And here I could turn off documents. I could turn off pictures and turn on the file explorer, which is what I want to do. I'll show you another way to get to this uh, just on principle because we're here. It's been 12 seconds. Simply click start, click settings, which is the cog. And it's over in personalization in the right-hand side here. This is the, uh, in the off chance you're not familiar with this, this is the, um, Effectively, the replacement for the uh, control panel, it's the Windows settings. So let's go into there, personalization, and way down to start. And then down at the very bottom, you'll see choose which folders appear on start. And here is where you can suggest, you know, um, uh, here you can choose what, you know, whether more tiles appear, uh, whether the app list shows up, recent apps, so on and so forth. Most people, the defaults for this are fine for most people. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go here, I'm going to turn the file explorer. I'm going to turn off documents. I'm going to turn off pictures. I don't want them. And now when I click start, there, it's back to File Explorer. Now, one other thing is when I click the start and go into File Explorer, uh, what I see is um, that it takes me to Quick Access. Quick Access is the default in Windows 10. Uh, also Windows 8, by the way, and I think possibly Windows 7. The um, I just don't recall. But the, uh, the, the long and the short of this is that um, I really hate Quick Access because... Um, uh, it gives you your most frequently used folders and files, and um, I don't care about that. I want to have consistency. Uh, the frequently used files and folders moves around all the time. It changes every time you do something. So it's a cool idea. I just don't want to use it. I want to go to the same place every time and click through the same path every time. So uh, here, what I, what I want to do is I want to change this to this PC. So I'm in a company. I see... Uh, the folders, and I see my, all my network shares. Now I'm at home, so I don't have network shares here, but most people will at work. So how do you do that? It's pretty straightforward. What you do is uh, click the uh, View tab at the top. By the way, if you see it like this, uh, where it's minimized, just double click on it and it will show up. You have to double click insanely fast, by the way, to get it to stay. Anyway, otherwise, just click on View, click Options, and at the top here it says uh, you can uh, open File Explorer at this PC, which is where I want. So now it's back to a nice corporate setting. Uh, I simply click Start, and I click File Explorer, and bingo, I'm right at my network shares. Uh, typically, it'll be right here. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.